When we talk about designer, what are the differences between a luxury handbag and a designer handbag that people should understand? Hi, this is Janice Lee again of Harvest Estate and Appraisal Services. Glad you guys could join us again for a lively discussion we're gonna have today about designer handbags and the luxury and design markets. I have with me Nikisha DeRoe. Um, Nikisha's gonna tell us a little bit about herself, but I have leaned upon her expertise personally and as a consultant to me in some of the appraisals that I've done for clients on damage with designer handbags or stolen luxury items. She was instrumental in providing me an understanding of the variables in the market and information on the different fashion makers to help me complete those appraisal reports for my clients. So Nikisha, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Um, as she said, my name is Nikisha DeRoe. I really got interested in fashion uh, when someone gave me fashion plates as a little girl as a gift. And from there, fashion kind of just stuck with me. I continued my education at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in California. And from there, I moved to Texas and I continued my education at the University of North Texas for fashion and merchandising. I've also shadowed several stylists in the Dallas area where we have done editorial fashion shows, been in publications such as Crave Magazine, and I've also been working on small projects, um, just giving out fashion advice on trends in the market forecasting. So what attracted you to luxury and designer brands? I think because it's just, it's on a rise. Well, first of all, when you're in fashion school, that's all you learn is high end, Chanel, Tom Ford, Valentino. So, you know, you're gonna learn those high end luxury brands um, off top. But I think um, a lot of people around me are into these bags. And that's kind of made me do more research and figure out what the craze and the phenomenon is on high end luxury bags. Either A, you can go straight to the boutique and you can purchase your handbag. But for those people who might want a bag that might just be gently used, okay, they can go to like a Keeks. I don't know as how many are in what city, but you can do that. There's also different consignment shops in your area or online, uh, real, real. A lot of people uh, purchase from there based off of their guarantee process. Um, you know, they buy from them. Um, but you definitely do want to be careful because there are a lot of knockoffs, especially online. And the fact that you can't touch or feel and you're purchasing, those are some things that you want to be aware of. Yes, and the handbags, just as with um, a lot of objects in the art market, once they begin to gain popularity, there are certain artists that are copied. So just as with these handbags, as people see an opportunity to invest and build assets and um, there's a desire for them, you will find that people are uh, creating the non-authentic bags. And so, yes, you do want to take into consideration being able to authenticate a secondhand bag or pre-owned handbag. Although it's a darn near close zippers, a stitching material, it's still not that bad. And so if you try to, if they're gonna give you your value based off a of resale, you can't resale something that is not authentic. authentic. <laughs> so, you know, be careful at the amount you pay for knockoffs as well. Is it really worth that amount of money not to get anything on return? Right, or is it, you know, just through time and patience to save up your money right. and to buy that authentic <laughs> handbag. That authentic handbag. From that standpoint, that's where that resale comes in. Something that's gently used, you can go and get something maybe that's two seasons old or a collection from three years ago or wherever it may be. Still going to be able to get to resale that handbag if you needed to upgrade to something else versus buying a knockoff and not being able to do anything with it. It's gonna be what determines the true luxury in the bag. Um, there's designers like Cole Hannon, uh, Tory Burch, Michael Kors. Depending on the level um, of the brand, I would say that those are mid-level. I mean, within certain brands, there's tiers, but I would say that would be more of a mid-level versus a Hermes or a Fendi. 
when I say designer, I guess we can put lump that into like a Cole Hannon or Tory Burch or Michael Kors, Burberry, Dooney and Burke. Those would be more designer versus the more higher end would be more luxury. So if you find it at Macy's, you know, Dillard's, actually Dillard's and Nordstrom's and Newman's and Saks would probably have more of those luxury. Okay, <laughs> what about um, purchasing them at the stores versus the outlets? How does that enter into price points? Well, of course you're gonna pay full price. And then at the, at the regular store, you might be able to, it's gonna be more collection based, what's more current. Okay. Versus outlet is going to be more previous seasons. Um, some outlets might even have like the slightest defect. They might send it to an outlet. Like a stitching could be incorrect or they could have used the wrong zipper and they'll send it to an outlet store. When we talk about um, designer handbags being customized, what comes to mind for me? And again, this speaks to a client base that is able to consume at very high price points. Mm -hmm. I'm reminded of a television show that I saw on PBS about a, a hotel and a designer in Britain that specifically designed a, bu a bunch of custom handbags that were diamond encrusted and they were trying to sell these very one of a kind, one of a kind handbags. They had created about 30 different handbags and they were individually marking, marketing them to very high-end clients, such as a Saudi Arabian prince's wives. And so I would think that in that instance, again, because we're talking about a clientele base that is able to afford a one of a kind, and because you're talking about people who have the wealth established already to pursue that one of a kind thing, which makes them want it, there is a market for that where the average everyday person, no, not so much. I know to me that reminds me more of the sneaker craze where, you know, now you can go into a Vans or, and you can pretty much trick out how you want your sneaker to look. The resale value depending, like let's say, I don't know, some basketball star has a shoe. And for some reason, it might be a little custom out based off of his personality, but that could be resale. So an example of the market value going up or down. So let's say, for instance, with Kate Spade, when she passed away, I'm looking at her article here and it's showing that the day of her death, um, an average bag that was sold for $50 was now going for 300 because of the craze of everybody trying to purchase her work um, after her passing. There are different variables that definitely fluctuate the market value when it comes to handbags and particular design. This phenomenon of luxury versus designer is not only uh, US based, but it's also something that is international. Uh, these designer handbags are sometimes put up as collateral to get loans. So if you're not familiar <laughs> with how diverse these assets can be, you can get a loan against your handbag for money. And so um, these, these handbags go beyond being accessories. They are really assets. And right. if you pick the right ones. Keisha, I'd like to thank you for joining me today to talk about um, designer brands and fashion, luxury. And I look forward to having some more conversation with you to talk about how um, the crazes in society do affect appraising and tangible personal property. I'm looking forward to possibly talking about uh, sneakers with you and getting some feedback from you because again, we're talking about fashion and how fashion impacts um, asset values. And so I do look forward to having another discussion with you in the future about that. Well, Denise, thanks for having me and thanks everyone. I look forward to meeting with you again to discuss other luxury items.